got somebody watching. I don't know who. Try to leave my phone alone so it doesn't move. in here If we can get a couple people to join in, I'll uh, actually lather up and maybe shave. Maybe invite some people. What's Gerard up to? What are these guys doing? I'll tag them. I'll tag you. I know that you're already here. There we go. What uh, we can see, you're watching. Sweet. I'll just get that to scroll up, and I'll be all set. I'm not used to this uh, live thing. All right. Well, I guess I have an audience of one. <laughs> Thanks for joining in, my friend. Oh, yeah, it tells me, wave, bring them on camera. Okay, cool. All right, that's how we do it. So I know how to do that. Um, yeah, all right, I know how to do that. All right, well, I'm going to get right into it, Scott, since you are, uh, you got a man, I'll add some people, perfect. All right, so I'll just get right into it. Um, kind of a cold, crappy day here on the east coast of Canada. Uh, on this 250th day of January. So we're going to go with a slightly spicy soap. And that is going to be Dr. John's Defiance. Uh, a lot of spices in here. Just a nice, really, really warm smelling soap. Lots of clove. I think there's sandalwood in here or cedarwood. Uh, really, really nice. Really, really nice. So... I'm going to uh, use my Maddie Lindholm brush, ML Shaving Supplies. This has a 24 mil Maggard's Knot and uh, soaked in distilled water as usual. Now, this is kind of a small tub, big brush, but I think I have enough of the soap uh, that's been worn down. I should be able to lather this without making too much of a mess. I hope. And if I do, well, whatever. Who cares? It's just shaving, right? <laughs> so, yeah. So, if you see me leaning in, I have to uh, lean in and get on the right angle to read the comments. So, <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. Hope everybody's having a wondrous day today. Mine's going pretty good. Didn't know if I was going to shave today or not, but uh, Scott, your live shave kind of gave me some ambition to uh, to do this, so here we are. That's right, there you go. So that's loaded up pretty good, I would say. This stuff, a little bit of this goes a long way, and I find with the distilled water, it uh, really kind of kicks everything up to 11 and uh, it makes lathering easier as opposed to using the super hard water that I have. And that should do. Put the lid back on the tin. 
And we'll get into face lathering this. Oh yeah, that's a good load. Feel it in the brush tips. Yeah, it's kind of a really craptacular day here today. Hopefully you're having better weather where you're at. Really cloudy and starting to rain and really crappy and cold. And I can't see too well in the old den when it's cloudy out, but oh well. You don't need to be able to see when you're shaving, do you? It's not that important. At least I don't think, anyway. I might be wrong, what do you think? <laughs> oh yeah, there's all kinds of soap here. Let me lather in this for the next 20 minutes. Add some more water into it. This stuff is pretty thirsty. Hey Eddie, thanks for joining. Um, you missed it right from the start. I'm using Dr. John's Defiance for the soap today. A nice uh, spicy woodsy scent. It's a cold, cold, crappy day where I live today, so I decided to go with a nice warming scent. And apparently I loaded way too much in the brush. Because this is going to take a ton of water. I don't even have the, uh, you can see I don't even have the flow through filled up yet. And it's still pretty pasty, so. Anyway. We'll just add some more water while we're waiting. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good right there. Lather's a little thick, but... That's good. Brush seems to be fairly well full of it, so I think we'll go with that. Dump out the water out of the scuttle. I like to keep my, my brush in the hot scuttle when I'm shaving. Just take the brush, set it back down in the scuttle, and the hot water will keep that not warm. Just the way we like it. And clean up the work area a bit. All right, razor for today is pretty much my new favorite toy in the den, and that is this bad boy, the Carve Christopher Bradley. I absolutely love this. That's the open comb version. Get a look at that. Let's see if you can get a look at the blade gap or the blade exposure on that. This is a B plate, um, so it's a fairly mild razor. Uh, what does that say? Just got one of them and I've never used it. Got one of what? The um the carve? Or um or one of the soaps. But yeah, pretty mild razor. Um I did a lot of research when I picked this and uh I found a good comparison chart for another manufacturer that give uh, the blade gaps of their plates with other uh, razor manufacturers like Gillette's, etc. And um, so this has the same blade gap as a Gillette adjustable on four, which is kind of my bread and butter. I love my fat boy on four. So when I bought this, I knew exactly how it was gonna feel when I started shaving with it and I haven't been let down. This is perfect for every day, every second day, or even every four days. Scuttle, oh yeah, I, I use it all the time. I always use my scuttle. Now I don't build lathers in it anymore because because I face lather now, but I 
It's great for keeping that lather warm. And then on the flip side, I found in the, uh, in the summertime, when it gets hot, if it ever gets hot here, what I'll do is I'll fill that inner chamber with cold water and then put the brush back down in it and then it'll keep the lather cool. So when you go to apply it on the face um, for each pass and your lather stays cool and it feels nice on the, uh, on the skin in those hot days. Do a quick rinse just to activate some of that residual slickness and this soap has all kinds of it. It's a really, really nice soap. It's pretty inexpensive too. I'm not, uh, I didn't buy this. Somebody sent it to me. I'm not 100% sure on how much it is, but I don't think you'll break the bank on it. And you only, you only get the little, uh, where'd I put it here? It only comes in these little two ounce tins too, right? So, but it is a great soap for the money for sure. And it's hard. I find it's hard to buy new soaps nowadays. I'm like everybody else. I got a den full of the stuff and all of it's great and there's so many new things coming out every day that how do you stay on top of it right so second pass go across the green Best money I ever spent, though, I think, was on this razor. I've been waiting, wanting one for a very long time. And I don't know if you see them pop up all that often in Shave of the Days outside of um, outside the Canadian Wet Shavers group. But in that group, I mean, every other shave pretty much has uh, one of these razors as a picture. They've really... They've really gotten quite popular. And then some of the big YouTubers really like them too. I think another cut above with Chris. I think that this is his go-to razor. It's definitely worth the hundred bucks, that's for sure. Hundred dollars Canadian. You know, he likes the car. Yes, yes, he does. Yeah, he did he did some great videos. They're about like yeah, they're about the same price as the 6S. Uh, the only difference is the 6S comes with all the plates, the curve just comes with the one the one plate when you purchase it and then additional plates are well they're 35 Canadian so I'm not sure what they would be American 27 26 27 bucks something like that and um, and so so that's the only difference but I don't know I, I kind of like that in a way because I know I know most people that get a Rockwell even though they come with other plates, you're probably only going to stick with one or two. For the most part, you're not going to be changing it out all the time. So like I said, if you do a little bit of a little bit of investigation work with this, you can pick the plate that's going to work the best for your for your skin, for your beard, day in, day out. So you don't need to buy any extra plates. You can just buy the one plate and you know it's going to work right out of the box. That's what I did anyway, and it worked out great. So so that's just my my take on it. And he is coming out with uh, aluminum and stainless steel too, I believe. Now the uh, stainless steel is probably going to be quite a bit more expensive. And I want the brass because I just like the look of the natural brass. So this will patina. It's going to change color a bit over time. But you can clean it up with just a toothbrush and a little bit of toothpaste and that will uh, scrub, uh, scrub the patina off. And restore it back to factory if you want it to look like the the day you got it but it's pretty cool it's hefty too i got this with the three and a half inch handles this weighs in at 110 grams so it's a very hefty razor I like open comb the best but I use, yeah yeah well same here i really do like open combs and i didn't have a dedicated open comb uh everything i have is safety bar and uh 
I have the Icom 101, which is a open comb slash uh, safety bar. And I really like that razor and I usually use the open comb side more than anything. So when I got looking at this, I knew I was gonna get the open comb version just to have something different in the den and have a dedicated open comb. And it was well, well worth it. So I've been having a hard time putting this down. I'm on the second blade in it. I think this is the sixth or seventh shave. I've used this razor since I bought it. I haven't used anything else except for the, except for the straights. Cleaned everything up and made it look all nice and pretty. It's all just sitting here in the den. I may grab the fat boy next though. I think that one needs a turn. I got a Voskot in here too. It works really great with the uh, with the Voskots. All right, so that was the the three passes and the cleanup. So I'll go into the post. That was a good shave. Cool. Yeah, no new comments. We got three people in here now. Yeah, we'll have to go live together maybe next weekend. Scott, maybe on uh, maybe on Sunday if that suits you. Maybe around the same time. If you're able to, my wife leaves for work. Well, she left for work work a half hour ago, so this time of day works best for me. And then if we can get on together, maybe. You're more popular than me, maybe might get some more viewers. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right, so I don't use this a whole lot anymore, but I might use it today just for just for poops and giggles. I use some Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Been watching Zach a lot lately over on uh, Rich Man. And he loves this stuff. I love it too, but I haven't used it in a while. Ken merges in. Hey, Ken! How you doing, buddy? You missed it. Jesus. Damn truck drivers, you're always late for everything, aren't you? And I say that with love, because I was a truck driver myself, so... <laughs> always on time, sort of. Time's best. Perfect. Yeah, no, around this time of day is, is great for me. Ken, um, now that you're, uh, you joined the party, so we went with Dr. John's today, uh, Defiance. Great, great spicy soap. I don't know what the weather is like over in Moncton. I don't know what the weather is like over in Moncton, but over here it's cold and crappy and just bleh. Uh, brush was the Maddie Lindholm special and yeah there was lots of lather in there right now they want to watch me they have to deal with my kids yeah when i'm doing videos usually you usually have to deal with the next door neighbors because they're loud i didn't know if i was going to get to do this video in peace because they were over there smashing and banging and yelling and going on let me see if i can expand that comment and the kids in the background. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine, my friend. It doesn't bother me one bit. I have kids too. I know all about it. I've been there, done that. And uh, Ken, I use the, um, the Carve Christopher Bradley again. Open comb B plate with a Voskod. My go-to blade. I have tons of different blades, and you know I pick away at them every now and again, but pretty much. Voskod is the way it goes for me. It's almost like that Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I put this shit in everything. <laughs> if I could say that, I don't know. Because we're not really allowed to curse too much. But we'll let that one slip maybe, will we? So yeah, so I'll put this away before... Before I drop it and dent it. And then I'll have to cry. And that won't be good. And for the post, the matching splash. 
And this stuff is great. It's got some legs too. It'll last the rest of the evening. Alcohol based, so if I got a little heavy handed there, I'm going to feel that right about now. Nah, we're good. We're good. It was a good shave. I've yet to get a bad shave with that razor yet. And it's so nice, we got to do it twice, right? A little bit more of that stuff on. I've come to realize with my splashes and my bombs, when you buy a set, I don't think there's any way you're ever going to use up the splash before you use up the soap. So I don't mind putting a putting a little extra on because I know this splash is going to outlive the soap big time. I have a bottle of Holy Cow um, splash and I put that stuff on like crazy and it looks like it hasn't even dropped any in the bottle. Now I can't, yeah, I've, I've used this quite a bit too and it's still full right to there. You can see that jiggling on the camera there so it's crazy. This stuff lasts a long time. Wash the hands before I do something silly like go and use the bathroom with the alcohol based splash all over my fingers. That might get interesting. <laughs> might get interesting. See any new comments here? Anything? Oh crap, I just turned them off. Anybody have anything new to say while you still have my undivided attention? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. I know I enjoyed it. Don't mind doing these live shaves once in a while. I like to do them a little bit more, actually. And then it's easy to do them with somebody else, too, because I have a hard time reading all that little squiggly font that's down there. And then if I'm watching with some, if I'm doing it with somebody else, they can just read the comments and I can just reply. <laughs> Makes my life easy. Yeah, you're right, Scott. It is a lot of fun. It is. Kind of hit or miss on the time, though, right? Hit or miss on the time. So, um, yeah. I'd love to do this later in the evening if I could. You know, most people are around and, and, and are able to watch, but it really limits, really limits me to what I can do. I know I've mentioned before my YouTube videos, the lighting in my bathroom is horrendous. Now, on the camera, it looks fine. But for me, with the way my eyes are so screwed up, excuse me, the light is right behind my head. So my whole face right now in the mirror is in the shadow. So like I can, if I'm looking in the mirror, I, can, I can't even see this side of my face. So I just do it blind. So that's why I kind of pick this time of day. Usually I get the sunlight coming in the window and it helps. I get my landlord to fix the lighting in here, but that's not going to friggin' happen. So... I can tell you that right now. Anything else? Just you. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks for tuning in and commenting. I do appreciate it, guys. I'm going to cut you loose. Yeah, try to a different time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, I could do one in the evening too, even with the bad lighting. It just limits what I use for tools. I don't like to use a straight razor when, I, when the lighting is really, really bad. So... So I could just use a DE, same difference. As far as building the lather goes, I could pretty much see well enough to do to do that when it's dark and crappy in here anyway. So, all right, man, I'll let you go. Thanks for tuning in, Scott and Ken and Eddie. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep in touch and maybe we'll do this one together next weekend. That sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. All right, bud, I'll let you go and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. See ya.